It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are in the first phase, at the end of the first phase of the third turn of our game of Primordial Soup here. Um, we have the Southward Drifting card. Everyone has done their movements. Um, I think only one person actually tried to move. Uh, I did this a little bit earlier, and then I'm coming back to it now. I think it was um, this one right here, which was Danimals, but he ended up having to go south anyway. He rolled a four. I don't know. Whoever tried to move rolled the number that would cause them to go the drift. So they just paid a, a, a dollar or whatever you want to call these for nothing. A biological point for nothing. Uh, so you're seeing how the board's changing now, aren't you? You're seeing how there's these blocks of color. Look down here at the very southern edge of our ocean. How there's just lots of yellow, lots and lots of yellow. So Snugbug is going to have to get out of there. He can't be too snug. You gotta be. You gotta keep moving. You have to. You have to. Kind of. You have to construct a sort of abstract ecosystem in this game. So let's see if they're able to do that. And then you also need to take advantage of it. Um, there's going to be some death coming up. You see all these? Well, not the green ones. Green ones can hold three damage, but this one right here is going to die. This one's going to die, and I guess we'll get to that when it comes, but that, that's going to put down a lot more resources once those go away. All right, we got a new uh, environment card. It's an eastward card in no zone of eight. Now, a lot of people are right at eight. If they were higher than that, they'd have to pay out or else get rid of some cards in order to pay for the ozone layer. The ozone layer makes it so that if you're overly mutated, you have to lose out on some stuff. Um, this eastward flow is going to be interesting. It's going to be tough on Snugbug, especially since he's kind of got all his fellows in a line here. Um, this this guy's got to move up. He can't go over here, or he's going to get hurt and die. So we'll see. That's that's for the next turn, though. Um, but there we go. New genes. All right, we saw a lot of gene purchases this turn. Um, start with Smudge. Smudge got struggle for survival. So that means he can, if he's in a spot where he would otherwise starve and there's someone else there, he can attack them and eat them and they can't do anything about it unless they have some sort of defensive measure. Now there's two players who have that now. Snugbug had defense before and keep in mind that um, Smudge picked his before other people picked theirs. So that did affect what... Uh, at least one person chose. Snugbug had defense before. He upgraded that to armor. Armor is even better. Rather than having to pay to fight off the struggle for survival, he's just immune to it. Um, and then he's also able to fight against another thing that no one has right now. Um, so Danimal picked after Smudge, and he got movement one. So he had some movement problems before. So let him roll two dice and choose which one he wants when he has to move. So he's got these very mobile, or more mobile than anyone else, long-lived spore amoebas that go around. So he should be have good board range, which would be nice for him. Um, and then Flush, he's the one who, who chose based on Smudge's decision. He got defense in order that he might be able to defend against the struggle for survival. Then he also got ray protection, which he, he was plan on getting anyway. Ray protection, when these um, these cards come up, it, it subtracts from your total. So right now it looks like he has 12, but with the ray protection he has 10. Unfortunately this doesn't count for points or anything else. Um, he can also use this to pay double against um, ozone effects. So Flush can keep getting cards and have a, a bit more insurance that he's not going to lose so much to the changes in the ozone layer. Look how full our board is getting after um, our cell division there. Uh, but now we're going to have some death. So let's see that happen. You can enjoy death. So this one has two beads, so it's going to die. But then we're going to replace that thing with two of each color here. And oh, got to get some more yellows. Yellows have been doing too well from our bag here. Da, 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 there we go. Then there's going to be death here. Now note, this happens before scoring. And you can kind of just see how that works. There's going to be a, a death up here as well. I'll do this off camera. But this green one is not going to die because he's long alive. He can, he can hold one more bead. 
We're doing scoring right now. Smudge already scored. He only got two points. Uh, reason why he, he had a lot die that turn. So he only has four on the map and not a lot of cards. So he only went two. Uh, Danimal is about to surpass him. He's getting four. You see how the, the difference between four amoebas and five is two points. That's a that's a big jump there. And then he also has three cards. So he's going to get a total of five points. That's our biggest score so far in the game. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and that's just enough for him to take the lead. Um, Snugbug, he's got four on the table, so that's going to give him two points. Doing the same as Smudge. And then Flush, let's see, Flush has got three on the table, so he's going to get a point from that, and then an extra, uh, an extra point, so he's got two points. So Danimal is the big winner right now. He's got a, he's got a very cohesive kind of thing going on with his long-lived long -lived spores. Did some movement. We saw our first um, struggle for survival take place. Uh, Smudge ate one of Danimal's amoebas. Pretty bad for Danimal all around. You don't really want to be first place during this phase of the game, uh, especially if you're just a little bit in first. You'd much rather be further ahead because everyone else gets to eat first. And so it's kind of a a way this game kind of rises and falls. You rise and fall. If you rise, you're going to fall because everyone else is going to eat all the food before you unless you're really good at surviving. So, so you see here, Danimal's going to lose two members of his amoeba tribe um, this round, and that's going to leave him with just two on the board, and he'll have he'll have enough to, to put one more out there. Uh, he spent a lot, of, a lot of his biological points trying to move people to better positions, thinking with the two dice he would have better luck but he failed in every single instance. He was able to move it further away from his opponents, um, which will let him use his, his spore ability to get to the, the food that his dead bodies are about to create. So let's see what our next environment card is going to be like. Okay, we went east, now we're gonna go west, and nine is our number, so that means Flush is gonna have to pay one, because he's at 10 right now, and he'll just pay the point. Anyone else? I think you do, and you don't have enough money, do you? Eight, ten. Oh, nope, you do. You have just enough. That's going to be his last one, and everyone's good. Okay. We only saw one card by that uh, mutation round that, is that what it's called? Yeah, gene, gene round? I guess they're called genes. Um, and that was longevity for Snugbug. Snugbug likes to be secure, and he likes to live a long time in relative comfort. Um, there's not afraid of a little hard work, and that's what it sometimes is when you're an amoeba. Look at all the amoebas he has out. He just divided. We also did some deaths. Um, the animal died a lot, and so now we're going to score. He's not going to be, he was a shining star last round of turns, but not this round. He's got three on the board. That's going to give him one point, three cards that gives him another two points. First person to 15. I hope he feels good about that. Smudge is next. Smudge, one, two, three, four, five. Amoebas, that's going to give him four points. One, two, three, four. Smudge is back on top. And then Snugbug, he's got two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six amoebas. And that's going to give him five points. One, two, three, four, five. And Flush. And this is interesting to me because I, it was been a couple years since the last time I played this game. Um, two, probably two years. And I think Flush was actually in that game because I was maybe trying to get to know him better. I don't know. I played with Flush for whatever reason. And I'm pretty sure he was behind everyone <laughs> then as well. But um, I, I don't know that he's going to stay that way. He's got four, so that gives him two points. It'd be nice if he had one more amoeba, but he has four cards. Oh, this one doesn't count, though. He has three cards, so he's got three points. Uh, not so good. One, two, three. But it's funny that he's he's um, performing pretty much the same as last time. And uh, it's not conscious on my part. While we're talking about Flush, I thought um, you might like to see a die roll. We're doing movement right now. Flush has moved all his fellows, did some parasite work there, uh, did some starvation there, doing fine there. This one's going to move. There's a good chance if he gets a different roll, it would drift here. But if he gets a different roll, he could do something much better. Um, anything other than a one will give him, will allow him not to get hurt because he can parasite off of it, of other people. All right, here we go. 
He got a five that, that lets him stay in the same spot. He's not going to need to uh, be a parasite. He's going to just eat the food there. You don't have the choice to, to parasite unless you have to, I don't think. Well, let me check. I know the attacking, you can't attack unless you have to. It's in the same space for another. Needs one less. Oh. Yeah, he can do it. All right, so he'll leave behind. What did he take? He took one of each. Um, looks like it's all about the same. He'll leave behind a red, since there's a lot of red around. And red's in first place. And he'll parasite off the yellow. So that's going to take a BP from Snugbug there. And he also already parasited off of Smudge, so might as well piss him off equally. It's time for a fight. It's a struggle for survival. This amoeba here really needs to eat. There's no green cubes. It's hungry. It's going to try to eat, um... Flush's amoeba, but Flush is going to fight back. So basically what this means is they're going to each roll a die. We'll start with Smudge because he's attacking. He got a four. Flush has to beat this four. He did. So he's okay, and that means Smudge is going to get a damage bead on this amoeba, and it's going to die, and then later uh, likely feed Flush or another amoeba. Check out this pile right here. We just had a death fest uh, of two. Uh, right there. Oh, there's another death. Ah. Right here. How about that? When they die, you put two of each color. So you f can feed anyone if you die. I don't remember what I put down. I don't think I put red yet. I'm going to guess I didn't put red. Yeah, because that, that red would be poop from before. Okay. I hope I did that right. I, I was talking, and I can't talk and think or pay attention at the same time a lot of times. So there's a lot of death. That was my point. Um, all right, so let's go on to scoring for the round, and then I think we'll be done for now. I obviously need to go to sleep. Um, and I had missed a point from Snugbug before, so he's one ahead. This armor counts as two because it's an updated one. Uh, it's upgraded, so it's... It's like uh, an evolved form of a different uh, gene. Okay, so we'll start with him, or with uh, Smudge, because he's in the lead, and Smudge has one, two, three, four, five going on, and that's going to give him four points. Respectable. One, two, three, four. And then we go on to Snugbug, who has... He, he wanted to put down two last time, but he didn't have the, the amoebas left in his tank to put down but then one died, so now he would be able to put down another one. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is going to give him five points. And then he's, he has three three cards worth. This he, he bought ray protection. He's the only person who bought anything, I think. Yeah. Three cards worth, so one point for that. Six, so he's going to get six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty good. And then Danimal here, he's got three cards that gives him a point. And he has three amoebas. That gives him another point. So he's going to get a measly two. Not so great. Um, and flush. He has three cards for a point. And four fellows on the board for another two points. So he gets three. One, two, three. You got to get your engine going there, Flush. We're getting close to the end. If someone gets to here, that's going to be the end of the game. Or if these cards run out. I think someone's going to get to here first, though.